Hey everybody, long time no see. I haven't really done a face cam thing in quite a little while, but um, yeah, I wanted to play some Pokemon Go. Um, very random. Most of you probably didn't even know I played this game, but I actually played it. I play it quite a lot. Um, I started playing the game like one or two days after the game came out in like 2016 or 15. I forgot. Um, but yeah, I thought we could just um, we could play a little bit. Um, really, today's just gonna be like an introductory thing. I'll show you my character, some of the cool Pokemon that I got. Um, and then hopefully later I'll make some actual maybe Pokemon Go videos of like events or, you know, stuff. Okay, so you should see my guy on screen right now. I'm literally at my house, so you can, this is kind of my street. I do have a park across the street, um, which is actually a pretty good park. You can see there's a lot of Pokestops. There's like one gym behind me over there. There's one, and then there's two there, third, and there's a fourth one over there by the church. So actually a pretty good area to play. Not like super amazing, uh, but it's pretty good. And surprisingly, like this is a fairly small, just like family park. I don't know why it has so many, but I'm glad because um, I can kind of just run over there for like 15 minutes. The new Daily Incense, by the way, that came out recently. Um, I've been running over there and just kind of walking around for 15 minutes, but um, yeah. Okay, so I guess let's start with the first thing, my character. Um, so this is, same name as, well, actually my YouTube is different now, but this is my character, this used to be my old name. I've got a shiny Stuffle with me, just because I'm trying to get some candy for it so I can evolve it. Um, I am level 41, at 2.6 uh, mil XP. Um, I have finished all, almost everything for this. I just need to evolve a couple more Pokemon with items, but that's super easy to do. Um, the Eevee quest was the hard one, but I got that done a little while ago, so almost so working my way to level 42 um i guess these stats can be interesting so i've walked a total of 2.5 thousand kilometers i've caught 26,000 pokemon visited almost 13,000 pokestops um total of 28 almost 29 million million xp and my start date was 7 7 2016 um and once again i'm pretty sure the game came out on 7.5 or 7.6. So this is only like a single day or two days after the uh, game came out. So I was here basically from the start. Um, let's see what else is interesting. I guess these can be interesting. So I've, I do have the Legacy 40 medal. I, I got it done like very close to the cutoff. But I did get that in. Um, you could see, I think, well, most, if you played during this time, you have it, because I think it was an online go fest, not the in-person, like, they usually are. As far as my elite collector, I've got 18 of them. These, these are the challenges that I've done. Um, I'm very on and off with the game. Um, there can be, like, uh, six months that I take off, and then I just start heavily playing again. Like, now, I started heavily playing a couple weeks ago again, but before that, you know, it was a, c a couple months break. Um... I'll go to my Pokedex, so that's something else interesting, but I do have a Platinum Kanto. Um, Breeders, my Platinum. Johto, I have Platinum. Um, and the best friends when I have Platinum. The rest are gold, some silver, some bronze. Um, yeah, I, there's... Oh, best buddy. I still need to do that one, because I, have, I usually walk buddies for candy, not for best friend status, so... Um, and then here's my Pokemon caught. Most, all of them are on gold or platinum. So I'm still working on a couple of them, but yes. So that is kind of an overview of my profile here. I've got 177 friends. It's a mix of players from Detroit, from Monroe, and then a couple international that I met on Discord. So, um, yeah, quite a few friends, quite a few best friends too. If I go to friendship level here, you can see that I do have quite a few best friends um and i'm still of course still working on a lot of people um but yeah so quite a few friends here um i guess where should we go next i guess let's go to the, my pokedex because um i did do something recently that is i'm very proud of so anyway let's go and look at it so i do have a platinum kanto a platinum johto the rest are gold alola is silver and galar is bronze for now um, so we can take a look. So like, like you see, this is a finished Kanto Dex here. This was the first one I finished and I finished it a long time ago because they released, um, the regionals like Mr. Mime in eggs. So that one was pretty easy to 151. 
Now, this Johto Platinum, I actually just got yesterday. So this is something very, very new. I had every single one of these Pokemon except to one. And anyone who plays the game pretty hardcore would probably knows which Pokemon I was missing. And that is the Heracross. Um, so, of course, it's a regional that's uh, down near, I think, the equator or some somewhere along those lines. I'm in Michigan, right? Um, but... Long story short, uh, my fiance's mom um, also plays and um, they go down to like Florida sometimes and, you know, they, they travel a little bit um, and she caught one of these. So she let me have it and I finished my Johto deck. So very happy about this hair across because, again, there's no way I can get it in Detroit or Michigan near Detroit. Um, so, yeah, that is my full Johto decks. Um, Hoenn, also very close. You can see that I have most things. I'm missing uh, uh, Torkoal because regional. Um, I don't know what 352 is. Uh, Tropius, regional. Um, the Relicanth, regional. Um, let me make sure I'm still recording. I am. And then Huntail, I just can't seem to get. I've evolved Clan Pearl like five times. Cannot seem to get a Huntail. Um, but one of these days. And I've been trying to farm the Clan Pearl. I even actually I did get a shiny of it. I evolved. I was hoping I'd get a shiny Huntail, but I got the shiny Gorbis instead. Um, so you can see uh, Hoenn very close to being done. Sinnoh, I'm still missing a couple. Um, I know Pachirisu. I'm surprised I don't have a Pachirisu yet, but I think that's re maybe regional. Um, I don't have Mime Junior, and I have everything else except these three. Um, let's see, uh, what are we going to? Unova, also pretty close to being done. I don't have 51 or, or 511, 512. Um, I'm just waiting. I have a shiny one of these, which you'll see later. So I'm waiting for candy for that one. I'm missing a couple there, a couple there. I'm missing things like Haxorus and, uh, Bufalant, but Bufalant's also regional. So, um, yep. And then this is where it starts getting a little more dicey. Now we're in Kalos. Um, I have quite a few, but I am, I do have a lot of missing spots. Um, Alola, now here, you can kind of see. I mean, a lot of these Pokemon aren't out, but um, I do have now starting to get a little um, missing spots. And, of course, I got the Mr. Rhyme, or I think I watched a Mystic 7 video. Uh, I think it was, well, Trainer Tips. It's uh, He called him, I think, Mr. Crime, because I think he was only out for one challenge and you had to pay for it. Um, I didn't even realize I had them. Apparently, I paid for the challenge without knowing, I guess. Or maybe I just forgot about it. But, yep, I do have a Mr. Crime. Okay, that is my Pokedex. Is there anything? Shiny check? Oh, no. No, okay. We can, Let's try to shiny check the executor. E execute, sorry. Okay, nothing. Um. All right, next, I guess. I'll just show you a couple of the minor things. So, my battle stats... Uh, three, 232 wins, 415 battles. My longest winning streak was 53. Uh, I think that's a pretty good winning streak. 53 battles. Um, I was pretty proud of that one. Um, yep, that is about it. Um, so I guess battles, items, my item storage capacity is 1700. So I have spent quite a bit of money. Um, all right, but now the interesting part, probably the part that everyone's really been waiting for. Um, is the Pokemon and oh, so like I said, I did get the Heracross uh, for my fiance's mom, but I also got the Maractus, which is also a regional. So I did get two regionals from her. I gave her two legendaries that she didn't have, but um, so this is another regional that I'm not gonna have to travel for because uh, she got it for me, but um, so those two I traded for literally yesterday, so those are brand new. Um, this I traded for yesterday, but you guys are looking for the cool stuff. And I guess real quick flex, this is stuff that I got in the past basically week. Um, so I got those three in the past week and the Zigzagoon. Um, oh, and also you might be wondering, do you just play or do you, do you use a Pokemon Go Plus? I do use a Gacha. Um, so like the auto catcher, I do use one of these. Um, I play when I can, but I'm often walking or driving, obviously. So I use the, uh, the Gacha. Um, so let's go one by one. So let's let's take a. Should I have revives? Can I heal these? It looks kind of weird if they're not healed. So let's go ahead and just heal those real quick. Okay. So as far as strength, this is kind of my front page. I've, I do got a huge slacking, like everyone does. I missed 
the slacking community day. So that was a little bit of a shame. I did miss that one, but I still got one just over time. That's pretty strong. Um, any of the communities that were pretty big I attended. So I was there at the Garchomp, com oops, Garchomp community day. I was there at the Hydreigon community day, Dragon Idol a long, long time ago, the Salamence. Um, I got a lot of Rhyperiors. So I was at the big community days. Oh, the, oh yes, the Metagross community day. That one was pretty epic. Tyran actually I also I did miss the Tyranitar community day that one I did miss um but anyway so we can kind of scroll through this is the strength I've got quite a, I've got three above 4k and then I've got quite a few around the top 3k's strengths so I'll literally just do kind of like a little scroll you guys can take a look at some of the things and then we'll go ahead and take a look at my shinies my 100s my zeros and some of the cooler things but yeah, I won't go too far because it's quite a long list. Or maybe I'll just go like super fast. Um, I don't raid super, 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 super often, but I do get raid invites and I often try to join those if humanly possible. Okay, that's enough. Um, so you guys kind of looked at my general page and we'll go through some of the, you know, the really cool ones. But um, let's do a couple of surges. So let's go to my legendaries. So I do have, you know what, actually, let's start with shinies. I think shiny is something a little bit more, oops, a little bit more interesting. We'll go to legendaries because then I want to show you my shiny legendaries. But um, so let's go ahead and do recent. We'll start all the way from the bottom. I do have quite a few. So um, I think I got a shiny Pikachu from 2018. So whenever that was. Um, I was there at the Dratini Community Day, so I'm going to have quite a few of the Dragonites and Dratinis and Dragonairs. Um, I caught one Shiny Lugia back in 2018 when that was in raids. Um, then I was at the... I don't think I participated too much in the Bulbasaur Community Day, because I don't really like Bulbasaur. Um, and then there was a Charmander Community Day. These were one of my first actual like shiny shiny like full full odds shinies. I did get a shiny Aaron, and this is one of one of my favorites personally, just because it was one of my first ones. But I also just think this is like one of the cooler shinies, um, cooler Pokemon, and the shinies all right. It's a little bit of a puke green, but it's it's I like it. And then of course the Cloister, um, one of the really nice shinies. Any shiny that's blue. Um, is automatically one of my favorites because it's just such a nice color. Um, so definitely, I really like that one. Um, Squirtle Community Day, obviously. And then I got a few with some sunglasses on. So those are a little more special. I got actually two shiny plusles. I don't know why the game decided to give me so many shiny plusles, but did get two of those. Um, then Eevee Community Day. So I got a lot of shiny Jolteons, um, shiny... Um, S, not SP on uh, whatever this thing is called, man. I don't know. So a lot of those. And then I was at uh, the community day for um, Beldum. Got a few of those. I got two shiny Drifflooms. Another one that this is a very uh, common shiny. It seems like if I ever talk to anyone about their shinies, everyone has a shiny Drifloom. Maybe it's just because the Halloween event is the Halloween event. I don't know. Um, and then a community day for Cyndaquil um, for fortress another Forter fortress yeah um another one of the early shinies that i got in 2018 uh raichu um now this is one of my favorite uh, well most people's favorites because it's gold i mean it's, it's gold right um shiny altaria which is pretty sick um shiny pupitar oh that was loud oh paypal very nice um I've got like i said i missed Tyranitar Community Day, but I do have two or three. Um, shiny Ampharos, which is lucky. Uh, shiny Magnum. Let's see. Oh, got. A, yep, I got a second shiny Pineco. So I've got a few shinies that I have two of. Uh, oh, shiny Articuno. This was. I really like this one. Uh, another one of my favorites. Shiny. I also got a shiny Zapdos. I don't have a shiny Moltres, um, but I do have a shiny Ho Oh. Um, shiny, I, it was a shiny why not out of an egg, but I just evolved it to Wubba Fed because I like pink. Um, got the uh, Trico Community Day. I did, uh, hatch a couple of shiny babies. So I got the Magby. Um, I did get the Smoochum. So those are the two shiny babies. Then I, of course I was at Salamis Community Day. I think I got a, uh, I found, this is a absolute killer in, uh, 
the Battle League. I, this is like one of my mainstays of the Battle League is my Azumarill. Um, for and then it was Ralts Community Day. I also did a shiny mine 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 to finish out that. Um, and then here's a couple of full odds. So I got the shiny Bronzor, uh, shiny Barbroach. This was a full odds EV. Um, and then I think I got oh that's another shiny baby. You got the Happeny. Um, I got the Shift Tree, Chansey, Obama Snow. Then the Gassy Community Day. Another uh, shiny Swablu, Ball Toy. This is the one that I'm waiting to evolve. Um, I'm trying to find someone else with a shiny girder, or I guess I can just wait until um, I get 100 more candy. Uh, shiny Mydiana, Clink Clang. Uh, finally got myself a shiny Ponyta. I was waiting a very long time for this because um, it's absolutely one of the coolest shinies, like no doubt about it. I was waiting quite a while for that one. I finally got it. Uh, Shiny Rayquaza, another one of my favorites, just because I, I, I wasn't raiding around the time when Rayquaza was out. So I did a couple raids, and I'm glad I got one while I could. Uh, Garchomp Community Day, of course, another one of my really cool ones. I got the flag on here. Um, I got a throw, a golem, which is cool because golem is like gold, which that's freaking sick. Another Shiny Lugia, but this one's from 2021. Uh, Shinx Community Day, of course, a Duskull, full odds. Um, got a couple of Mudkips, uh, one of my recent favorites, my Shiny Stuffle, which is of course my buddy at the moment. Um, got a Shiny Ammonite, Umbreon, and then there was a recent uh, Dino Community Day, of course, where I did catch a uh, Shiny Aim Palm. And then as of this couple weeks, of course, the Zigzagoon, Gorbis, Slacking, and Lopunny. So, not the greatest Shiny collection, but I'd say pretty good overall. Definitely not the worst. Um, let's take a look. So those are my, oh, and then my legendaries, I can kind of go through them. I've got most legendaries. I am missing quite a few, but I do have a large chunk. I'm only missing like, I think a couple, um, overall. So those are my legendaries. Let's see what other, Ooh, someone invited me to a raid. Okay. So I'd love to join, but that's just a Psyduck. I don't, I don't think I'm going to join a Psyduck raid. Also it's too late anyway. So not like it matters. What else can I show you guys? Um, let's see. Traded, shiny can evolve. Oh, I guess I could show you my perfect Pokemon. So these are my perfects here. Um, so yeah, I'll just this one. I'm, I really like this one as my perfect. Is a 100% IV. Um, the Litwick. That's a pretty cool 100%er. I don't have any 100 shadows or 100 shinies or 100 legendaries. A little bit of a shame. Um, I do have a hundred Blissey. So this one's a tank. Um, this one I use in the Battle League too. Um, that's really about it. Oh, uh, 100 Mammal Swine. That one's pretty cool. But yeah, so, oh, and the 100 Altaria, which is also pretty cool. So that is my, that is that. How do I show, is that zero? So I guess real quickly, I'll put up my friend code. Oh, no, let me go ahead and be online. There is my trainer code. So if you do want to add me, you can go ahead and, uh, Add me right here. Send me a friend request. I do have room, so that I will definitely add you. And I'm on most days, so um, add me if you want. I'll definitely, definitely accept it. Okay, and just kind of one final look before I end the video. I did end up getting the Rotom Wash, which is pretty cool. Got a few unknowns lying around, so I do have some of those. Um, this is my Battle League Stunfisk, which I'm pretty proud of. It's a pretty cool one. I love Stunfisk. Um, there's still a couple. There's a couple Pokemon that need to evolve. Like I, I don't. I didn't evolve a lot. Evolve a lot of the fossil ones. I don't need too much candy though, so I can definitely just uh, rare candy those. The Archon I still need to evolve too. Um, I did have quite a few good hatches, like the Sand Dial. Um, still need. To, I'm still working on my Axu here. Um, I'm. I'm gonna evolve the Pancham once Halloween comes around, because it'll be easier to catch um, some dark Pokemon. Um, did get both forms of lichen rock, which is pretty cool. Like I said, the Mr. Crime, I do have one of those. Uh, I'm trying to see if anything else that just kind of like sticks out. Uh, this is one of the Pokemon that I like. I know it's not the rarest, but I do like that. Runerigus, that one's pretty cool. Um, what else? There's another unknown. Oh, I need to work on getting a couple more of the el the elves. Don't, I do not have all of those just yet. 
This thing took forever for me to get, very annoyingly funny. It's not like a rare Pokemon, but it just took me forever to get. Um, I do have a shiny um, Duskull that I could evolve into a shiny Dusknor, but I don't know if I want to do that. Um, what else? Oh, this I this is one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't. I guess I'll tell you guys some of my favorite. I really love Gigalith. I don't know why, but I I really like Gigalith. Um, let's see. Ooh, Genesect. And who doesn't love Genesect? Definitely one of the coolest ones. And Shiny Genesect is like red, I think, and such an amazing Pokemon. That one's really really cool too. Um, Obama Snow. I just I like Obama Snow. Or Obama. I don't know. I I like to say Obama Snow. I, I just think it's hilarious, but that's just how I say it nowadays. Um, got a few Mr. Mimes. I did go over to Europe for a couple months in 2019, so I did catch a few Mr. Mimes while I was there. Yep. Okay, well, I think, like I said, this was kind of more just an introductory video. Maybe I'll do some, like, event videos or something cool like that later, but, um, for now, that's me. Those are my Pokemon. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to catch some cool things in the future. Um, uh, maybe get a recording set up. Well, who knows? Right now I'm just using, like, a app recorder, so... Um, yeah. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I, I'll see you guys later.